So you've no doubt heard that old story about don't loan nothing out that you want to get back in one piece and this is kind of true of that. I loaned my saw to a friend a while back and uh, he used it for some stuff and he told me it was kind of messed up when he gave it back and he gave me 20 bucks to replace the chain which was a good thing because that chain is hashed. Unfortunately the uh, the tip of the saw, you can see how it's been all bent out like that. Somebody was using it for a pry bar, so that's kind of, or maybe got bound up, but that's kind of wallered out, so I can't really use that anymore. We tossed that out, the gauging shot on it. So I went down to Lowe's and I bought a new chain and a new bar kit. Oregon makes pretty good stuff and they had a direct fit for it. It's not a great saw, not an expensive saw. I had a steel that I really liked. This is a home light, um, kind of just a tool to get some stuff cut up. Well, when I got everything back together and I went out and started cutting things up, I ran into one major problem. The clutch on this is hashed. It's just freaking destroyed. Uh, put, trying to get it to cut just a four inch stump was a massive undertaking. And it really took an awful long time to get through it because as soon as the clutch starts to heat up, it stops spinning and starts spitting sparks. So, you know, I, the, the clutch is just shot. So I'm going to have to take the clutch apart. I don't know how bad the clutch is. I didn't look at it. It looks like the gear in there is still working, so I'm not slipping teeth on the chain or anything. Um, drive teeth all look good, but I'm going to pull it apart. And I've got a feeling I'm going to find that I've either got a broken spring or the two counterweights on my clutch are just hammered. So, good times lie ahead. Yeah, it looks like the teeth are still holding up in there. So. Maybe the gear's okay. I don't know. I get that E-clip off. I'll find out. I'm going to take that E-clip off, pop this out, and there should be all sorts of goodies underneath of it for me to uh, spend lots of money on. <laughs> oh, I love owning tools. Here's the clutch. It doesn't look like it's in terrible condition, but looks can be deceiving. This is the drum that the clutch catches into that has the drive sparket on the other side. You can see that the teeth are worn a little bit. But certainly nothing uh, to the point where it needs replaced. I cleaned it up. It was full of dirt and grease. So that might have been the whole issue. To go deeper into this, I would have to take this off. I'm looking at the edges of this clutch pack. And you can see in there, they don't look like they're worn out. They look like they're just maybe dirty. So what I think happened is all this dirt that you see here <coughs> is crap that I knocked out of it. If you look at it, I think what happened is that... All that junk was coming up the chain, you know, running up the bar and coming back around this wheel here, getting off of this, slinging itself down around here and working its way inside. As it worked its way inside, it worked its way around this corner and got in between where the clutch surface, this part, and this part made up. So I cleaned out just a big caked on wad of dirt and grease and, I mean, it's all this crap down here. I cleaned all that off of the clutch surface there and I think I can clean off the clutch surface inside of here maybe make sure that everything's tight, lube everything back up. Um, I'm going to put it back together and see if it's going to work, because that clutch pack does not look burned up. It just looks like it's got a whole bunch of crap sucked up in it. So anyway, I think that's good news. We'll hook it up and we'll see if it works. Well, that seemed to do it. I think the clutch is clean and dry enough now that it'll grab. Chain didn't seem to hang up at all, didn't slip any. Uh, the real test will be going to cut down some shrubs, and I got some pretty good sized ornamental evergreens that I need to take out. Um, they're just blocking everything. They're starting to get to that size where they're no longer cute. They're like kids, you know, they get to a certain size, and boy, you just can't stand to look at them anymore. So I'm going to take those out, and I'll have my hollies a little bit cleaner. But I think the saw is ready to go. Yeehaw! I'm happy about owning the tool again.